bow before Thee. All on earth Thy rule acclaim. All in heaven above adore Thee. I was to me everlasting is thy name infinite I was to me everlasting is thy name Dear devotees of infant Jesus, today is Thursday, the day dedicated to the infant Jesus devotion. During this adoration, let us pray for our world that's grappling with coronavirus and is trying to find God's presence in the midst of this storm. Today's first reading gives us hope and assurance of God's love and kindness. Through prophet Hosea, God communicates to us his steadfast love, his unconditional love. God says, when you were a child, I loved you. When you needed me most, I accompanied you. I myself took initiative to teach you to walk. And I took you in my arms and I cared for you. Yes, my dear friends, my dear devotees of infant Jesus, God calls us to draw closer to Him. He took initiative to teach us to walk. He taught us to walk 
that we may walk on the right path he says i was like someone who lips an infant close against my cheek stooping down i give them food such a loving compassionate and faithful god we have he says i led them with reins of kindness with leading strings of love so let us experience god's kindness and love in our hearts in our families in our society when people are in greater need they have found someone has come and helped them during this pandemic those were like god's hands reaching in time reaching in our need to help us those are god's helping hands and thus in our lives we have really experienced god's love and kindness god is living god he is in midst of us and through today's first reading we come across god's image as nurturing god sustaining god loving and kind god who teaches us to walk he is our mother and father that is the intimacy we have with him let us silently recall the moments when we have deeply experienced his love his compassion his guiding spirit let us recall those precious moments when we really have experienced god's care for us god's helping hand for us we are his children and he teaches us to walk that is what prophet hosea says and that is what our own personal experience is so with that gratitude let us thank him for teaching us to walk on his path 
for guiding us and for giving us guidelines through ten commandments that we may walk on his path and surely it's a narrow path difficult to walk but it is he who is leading us it is he who is holding our hands and taking us through like the way he took egyptians from slavery to freedom from darkness to light as a heart is filled with god's gratitude his love his care his compassion let us ask him that during this pandemic he may keep on lifting us up and continue to carry us hold us accompany us and guide us he may touch us and heal us he may strengthen us to face this pandemic let us passionately ask our compassionate god to help us help us to find job help us in our difficulties when we have no money to pay in rent no job no salary or cut in salary we have no money to pay our emi and it is a compassionate god let us ask him to be with us to help us and at the end of tunnel there is light we are hoping to see that light like egypt like israelites who were waiting for freedom and god led them from darkness to light of freedom we are awaiting that moment for corona to get over as we saw in the case of israelites so let us ask lord yes lord you have helped us overcome difficulties problems and failures that is what our experience is in the past he has helped us he has been with us he has guided us through thick and thin
he is the light of the world that shines upon us let us ask him that may his light shine upon this world that is suffering from such pandemic people who have lost their dear ones may experience god's soothing compassion may they experience his light in their dark moments God further says yet they have not understood that I was the one looking after them but the more I called upon them the more I called them the further they went from me God speaks of our idol worship our going away from him let us ask lord to forgive us for the times we have been seeking power more than prayer cash and comfort more than commitment in our relationships and work over worship lord help us to know our priorities in life and at the end of today's first reading we heard god's soothing promising and consoling words ephraim how could i part with you israel how could i give you up how could i treat you like adam or deal with you like zeboim My dear friends Lord does not want to treat us the way he treated Sodom and Gomorrah and its neighboring cities Adma and Zeboim Lord assures us he says I will not give my rain to fierce anger i will not destroy ephraim again for i am god i am the holy one in your midst and i wish never to destroy you no virus can destroy us because ours is a mighty god powerful god compassionate god he reaches out to us in our needs in our difficulties in our sicknesses and he says i am with you
let us look at jesus in the sacrament let us renew our vows of commitment vows which we took during our baptism and renewed them during confirmation and renew them every year on easter night lord is a faithful lord he is asking us to be faithful he is inviting us under his protection care and love let us appreciate adore and adore and say what a mighty god we have Let us do our best to bring healing, happiness and harmony to the sick, wounded world. Let us be messenger of good news. We have been hearing too many bad news these days. When you open the newspaper, put on the TV, all we hear the big figures affected by corona. But today Jesus invites us to be the messenger of good news. Let us go out and through our soothing and compassionate words let us heal those who are sick those who are weak let us give them strength let us be their strength those who are lonely let us be their company let us be their support lord has spoken through prophet hosea and he speaks through each one of us let us be missionaries in this world let us imitate jesus through our words and actions Let us kneel. Let us bow in adoration to this sacrament so Oh uh... 
love to cup and sing. Glory, honor, adoration. Let us sing with one Given them bread from heaven. Let us pray. O God, who in this wonderful sacrament have left us a memorial of his passion, grant us, we pray you, so to revere the sacred mysteries of your body and blood that we may experience within ourselves the fruit of our redemption, you who live and reign forever and ever. divine praises blessed be God blessed be his holy name blessed be Jesus Christ true God and true man blessed be the name of Jesus blessed be his most sacred heart blessed be his most precious blood blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar blessed be the Holy Spirit the paraclete blessed be the great mother of God Mary most holy Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, virgin and mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and his saints. Thanksgiving. 